Hi, it's Gareth and Jones from the Doghouse Deli and Bar. One of the most frequently asked questions we get in the shop is about dog walking locally. So we put a video together of our five favourite dog friendly beaches and our five favourite countryside walks. All these were in a half hour drive of Polpero and they're really not to be missed. We're going to start with the beaches, so uh, have a look and enjoy. As you can see, Jones is much more interested in what's going on in Polpero Beach. If you do want to walk your dog over there, it's on the lead at any time or off the lead before 10 in the morning or after 6 in the evening. If there's one Cornish beach that deserves a type of hidden gem, it's our number five chart for us, Atlantic Bay. And yes, it really is hidden. Not the kind of place we're just going to stumble across. Stunning white sands and turquoise water set an idyllic bay surrounded by high cliffs. And there's your problem. It's fine walking down, but not so great walking back up again. No wonder it's so quiet, but well worth every steep step. Start at the National Trust car park and follow the signs across the fields. Do follow the country code and watch out for livestock, keeping your dog on a lead if required to do so. It's going to take around 20 minutes to walk down to the bay and about an hour coming back up again. Just look at that view, it's stunning. Technically, there are two beaches at Atlantic Bay, Little Atlantic and Great Atlantic. At low tide, you can walk between the two, but as the tide rises, they become separate coves. If you and your dog are going to take a swim, do take care, as there can be strong rip currents at certain states of the tide, and being a secluded beach, there are no lifeguards on duty. So there you go, that's Atlantic Bay, number five. Should be number one, and would be number one. They've yeah, had a cable car. Oh my God, this is hot. At number four, and so our speech is a 20 minute walk down a picturesque woodland trail from the village church above. That's if you're not gonna take the pretty hardcore walk or should I say hike, from Polpero. Take a close look at the wheel ruts left from the farmers and smugglers' cars carved into the track up from the beach. This place was renowned for smuggling activity. Weather-wise, not a perfect day to come today, but I'm sure you can still appreciate its beauty. Dog friendly all year round, and you quite often have the beach to yourself. As you leave the beach, check out the waterfall locally known as Reed Water, once the site of a small mill, and great for washing all that sand off. Our trip to Port Nadler Bay starts with a 15 minute walk along the coast path from Hannafort in West Loo. Although of course, Jones will be running for most of the time. While you're here, it's worth visiting the remains of the medieval quarry of Lamana to your right on this hill, which was first recorded in 1144. It's even rumored that Jesus spent some time here as a young boy with his uncle, visiting another chapel on Lou Island, which is to your left.
After passing through a couple of gates, we cross over the stream and head up the steps of Henderson. Now for anything like me, stop and take a breather at the top, before following on down the path until we come to a fork. Here, we're going to turn left for Port Nadler Bay. Gorgeous, isn't it? Now feel the burn on those leg muscles. More steps, I'm afraid. At least we're going down this time. It's going to be back up again later. I think you can see how Port Nadler Bay makes our top five. Dog friendly all year round, a beautiful walk with fantastic views that's not too strenuous. The Shingle Beach really has more than a handful of people on it, if anyone at all. A true Cornish hidden gem. And as you can see, Jones loves it. So it's no surprise to find rock samphire here on the beach. It really is a marmite of plants. It smells like aniseed, or some even say creosote, but it's high in vitamin C and it's what the sailors used to use to ward off scurvy. Right, a last quick dip in the sea, and then time to head home. In at number two on our chart is Seaton Beach. Dog friendly all year round, the cafe, pub, and snack check on hand for light snack, coffee, or something stronger after your walk. If your dog likes to swim or paddle, but is unsure of the waves, it can always have a play in the river as it meanders its way to the sea. If the tide's out and you're feeling energetic, take a stroll east to Downs Erie, where another dog-friendly pub awaits. Or there's a wide path leading up the valley that's suitable for both walkers and cyclists. Check out the outdoor gym and sensory garden on the way. Our number one choice for dog friendly beachside walks near to Polpero goes to Whitsam Bay, which is an approximate half hour drive from the village. Hey, hi, Access can be a little difficult down the moderately steep path and steps, passing the fort and coastal defences from the Napoleonic era to your right. But when the tide's out, just look how spectacular this beach is. Three miles of stunning sand, which never looks crowded. Rock pools teem with wildlife and a constant spot on the sea, which also makes this a popular destination for surfers. But if you and your dog like to swim, do be careful of the strong river tides. Jones is not a big fan of the waves, but as you can see, he just loves playing in the rock pools. No cafes or facilities are directly on this beach, so there's full Bear Grylls mode for this one, but that just adds to its charm. As always, thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoy your days at the beach.